When we talk about natural cancer treatments, why is it so often that people have to search outside the country in order to explore those options? There's not as many in the United States. I mean, I think people know why that the reason is, but can you just touch on that a little bit? Well, the reason ultimately is you can find them in the United States, but once those individuals start getting recognized and start getting results, uh, they'll be paid a visit by our government and the FDA. And there's been uh, books written uh, on people that have actually been killed. I mean, Royal Raymond Rife came out with the Rife machine years ago that was, had, was very successful with cancer treatments. Right now, it's not allowed in the United States just because it is, the bottom line is, it's a threat to the pharmaceutical companies. And that was told to me. There's no way your information, we can allow your information and your protocol out to the public. Because the public perception through the false organizations, cancer associations, Walk for Breast Cancer, which are nothing more than fake organizations to get money from you to feed back into the pharmaceutical companies so they can keep you racing for the cure or hoping and waiting for the cure that's never going to happen in the standard medical system. So there's, it's all about money and they don't want people to find out that there's natural alternatives. What we did was we figured out, we had 260 something different natural anti-cancer agents. But after years of research and over hundreds of thousands of people going through our cleansing processes, we found that once the body is clean, then the self-healing mechanism reactivates and your own body will take care of the cancer or the disease or anything else. So we really, everything is in simplicity. When you look at science and we you know, just started studying every possible biochemical reaction, everything, and then 10 years later we realized, could it be this simple? I mean, really? All someone has to do is just clean their body out really, really good. The problem then lies on what, what is cleansing, you know what I mean? What is detox? What, there's a million different cleansing programs out there. There's a million different detox programs out there. These are actually very specialized uh, cleansing programs that, that contain different, you know, rare and certain compounds and strengths of the compounds. It's not like I can go detox out there. But we've got over 3,000 documented cases for every single disease pretty much known to man, including cancer, that has been wiped out with nothing more than cleansing. Matter of fact, we had a, uh, a guy that had four stage, stage four cancer, had cancer all over his whole body, that was sent home to die and given two weeks. And he had, he had done one round of chemotherapy and was so sick, he said, I'd rather die. And he just ordered a liver cleanse online and ordered a couple of them. And he did the first one, which takes five days, did the second one, and he wasn't dead after the second week. And so he said, well, I'm just going to keep doing this one liver cleanse. And he just kept going and going and going and one liver cleanse every five days until he was feeling so good he went back into the doctor's office after 26 liver cleanses in a row. So that's almost a half a year and all of his cancer was gone. And it's stories like that from people taking uh, responsibility for their own health and it's so easy to do. It's not a really hard program and we get those coming in every single day you know, from our cleansing programs and not only necessarily our cl cleansing programs. It's, it doesn't matter as long as you eliminate the source of disease coming in through the food, air, water, etc., and you clean your body back to where it was when you were born, like almost that clean. There's no way disease can exist in a body that clean.